Happy Monday, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with Word for the Day. And today we're in Mark chapter 4, and we're looking at a very short parable called the Parable of the Seed Growing. Uh, now, I don't know if you like to grow stuff or if you like to garden or plant things. None of that is in my wheelhouse. I mean, uh, I don't want to do any gardening. I just want to eat some of the stuff that comes out of it. Uh, and usually as sides to the meat that I'm enjoying. But, uh, but I know some of you really like to grow things. And, and because Jesus was in an agricultural society, he used a lot of uh, illustrations, parables about things growing. So uh, listen to what he says, beginning in verse 26. He says, The kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground. He sleeps and rises night and day, and the seed sprouts and grows. He knows not how. I mean, we kind of do now with science, but he knows not how. The earth produces by itself first the blade, then the ear, and then the full grain in the ear. But when the grain is ripe, at once he puts in the sickle because the harvest has come. Jesus is talking about the process of growth. And, and there's a process of growth for all of us, personally and in the mission of God, the kingdom of God. Uh, first of all, let me just talk about your process of growth because all of us have done it physically. We were born babies. Uh, we grew up into children, into teenagers, into young adults, into older adults. We had families, uh, became parents. Uh, and eventually, if we lived long enough, we became grandparents, maybe even great-grandparents. Uh, and we got old and then we died. That, that's the process of growth. And we grow up and we see that physically happening. Uh, spiritually, you were born. Uh, you were born spiritually. There's a point in your life where you decided that you were going to claim Jesus as your Savior and Lord. And you made that confession that Jesus is your Lord. And God the Holy Spirit made you a new creation in Jesus. Uh, the Holy Spirit inhabits your life and He is now growing you because you start as a spiritual infant. And then He wants you to grow up and He wants you to learn more and become so that you can become a, a young man in the faith, so you can become an adult in the faith. And, and that's determined not by how long it takes you to get there, but, but really by the relationship you have with God, which is going to come through studying Scripture, through practicing what it teaches, not just knowing it, but putting it into practice, and then serving God with your life. Now, the, the other part of this is just the whole growth of evangelism, the growth of the kingdom. Again, this is a kingdom parable. This is what the kingdom of God is like. And, and as I read this, I thought about the, the way we do evangelism here at Calvary. You know, Calvary exists to lead people to a life-changing relationship with Jesus through the love of his people and the power of his truth. And, and that's our mission, to lead people to Jesus. But how we do it is what makes it maybe a little bit different from uh, other churches that you may have encountered along the way. Because we believe that that begins by planting the seeds. And planting the seeds comes a lot of different ways. It, it happens by you inviting your friends to church and they hear a message it happens because uh, you have God conversations with your friends. It happens because uh, they, they get a gift of a Bible from you or uh, you invite them to, to read a book with you. There's all different kinds of ways we plant seeds about how Jesus has changed us and how we can change them. Some of those are very direct. Some of those are very indirect. Uh, and then there's that growing process, that time it takes for the seed to, to mature and develop into a plant that is going to bear fruit. And, and uh, that takes time. And, and, you know, one of the things I've learned uh, about leading people to Jesus is that love is patient. It, it allows time to develop that, that understanding about who God is and who we are and why we need him, uh, which, by the way, is why we serve the community the way that we do. It's why we share the gospel the way that we do, where we, we share it, but we don't demand a response right now. We invite a response always, but we don't, we don't push for a response. We want to give time for that truth to germinate in their souls and, and take root in their souls because we know there's going to come a point in time when that truth begins to be birthed into a living, breathing plant. And it's going to yield fruit and the harvest is going to come and we're going to see people respond to the gospel because we have sowed the seeds of truth we've served which is you know cultivating watering weeding all of that and uh and eventually the harvest is going to be there where they confess jesus as their savior and their lord so uh i, I hope and pray that you are growing as a follower of jesus that you can look back on your life and see how God has been developing you and teaching you and leading you and redeeming you. 
But I also hope that you can see how God is using you to lead others to Jesus. Uh, I hope there's some way you can go, hey, here's how I plant the seed of faith. Yeah, I hope you can see some ways that you're serving and blessing people so that, so that they're uh, giving them a chance to grow up in, in that understanding of Jesus. And I hope that you are celebrating when your family, your friends, your acquaintances uh, make decisions to follow Jesus because that's what the kingdom of God is all about. I pray you have a blessed day today and a great week of sowing the seed that is going to grow into the kingdom.